Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today is Tuesday, the update day for Medieval Engineers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on. Well, as you can see here, we seem to have AI moving a rock. What could this possibly be? Well, this is a new feature that they've added in called Peasants, and I'll explain that now. So if we go to our menu and we go to Bots, you can see that we've got a Peasant selected here now the idea of these peasants are for them to actually work for you now this guy is moving a rock around and he's moving it back to his starting position so say for instance i place a peasant down on the ground there he's going to go to the closest rock in this case he's going to try to get them out the cart that's going to be impossible he's going to crash the cart and then he's going to stare at it and say am i in trouble and then he's going to run off and try to collect another rock but if i place one here closer to these rocks you'll see exactly what they can do so you see he's going to collect up this rock here, he'll head over there, he'll put his arms out, work out how to pick up that rock after he stares into space for a moment, he picks it up, and then he returns back over to his starting position very smoothly. Now, of course, these are in very early stages at the moment, as you can see that guy's going rock climbing, and that guy is so upset about crashing that little car over there, that I don't think he can compute what to do. But let's have a little bit more of what you can actually do with these guys. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea of what you could do with these peasants. You'd get them working for you in such a way that you could be extremely lazy and just rule your kingdom from a seat above. So we're going to drop a rock down the stairs in this case. And you're going to notice how the little peasant guy here is going to go and chase after that rock. And then try to return it back to his starting area. In this case, when he returns it, it'll automatically load it into this cart here and we should have him doing a very simple task for us so he's actually picked up the rock now and he's carrying it back up the stairs now the question is will he be able to load it into that car i'm expecting he will be able to so he's going to drop it about here it rolls it down and into the car now he's going back for a second rock or will he go back for the second one and this is the problem that i've been running into so obviously the very early stages at the moment and you can see he's actually trying to get after the same rock that he's just dropped there so maybe in the future that'll definitely be sorted out and they'll be going back for different rocks every time but still a very cool transition for the ai now the next thing i want to show you is the character manipulation tool now that's quite a mouthful but what does it actually do well it allows you to actually grab onto things in the environment and move them around so you can see here i've started this animation i'm going to hit the slash key and then I'm going to actually just pull this box around in a walking sort of stance. Really cool. And then I can right click this to release it. And then I can move on and pick up another object. Now this can also be used for stones. So as I head over here, I'm going to left click and pick up the stone. I'm going to head over to the cart. And now if I left click, it'll drop it back to the ground. But if I decide to right click, it's going to actually throw it on top of the cart like so. So I can load up this cart really easily and also pull carts with it. And you've just not really not got to limit yourself with the possibilities of this. So let's actually move ourselves back, put walking speed on once again. And you can see we could pull a cart full of resources back to our base. So let's release that cart. You could also use it for something like a lever function. Now imagine connecting this lever up to a pulley system and you could use it to pull a trap door open so as you can see as i pull it this way the trap door will turn that way and as i pull it back the trap door will open or close so it's just another sort of function you could use for that and you can see how i can move that back and forth and underneath we could have a rope that could pull that trap door tight closed and open just a really cool just don't limitate yourselves to some of the basics of pulling carts now what was requested in the last few builds was some smaller rounded roof parts now we had these very pointed tile roof pieces but they were just too sharp to fit into all our structures so now if you go back to the standard roof tile here and you scroll through them you'll notice that we have this rounded piece that could fit really nicely into these areas and if we scroll back and use our merge key it means we could round off areas and build roofs that look a little bit more rounded a little bit more cool to fit in to different plans of our houses it looks quite nice on a thatch sort of roof when i was testing it out before now if you get excited by the small things like me and the little attention to detail have a look at these feet now the feet are actually moving to the shape of the environment just something really cool to actually have a mess around with you can see as we can actually go down and we're on this slope the foot actually bends up as we're on the terrain and just a really small detail that just looks really effective and especially in some of them worlds when you notice a big difference when your player doesn't simply put his foot up and it looks absolutely stupid 
but in this case it looks really beautiful it's been well done and his feet bend to the environment and it just makes the character feel ever that bit more real so another little exciting thing that's been added is that fog has been added to the morning so it's going to be randomly generated and there's a chance of having fog or not having it so it's going to be quite exciting to have a little bit of variation in the sort of environment itself now the final thing i'd like to add is for all the modders out there who enjoy building their own blocks into the game there has been a destruction sdk added to the workshop so this means you can actually see and take apart your own blocks and make them crumble away just like the ones that are in the game currently so that's something exciting to have a look at so i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time